the big issue is how we can co combat the expulsion of our youngest students. Um, we will consider how teacher training programs, school interventions can better support social and emotional development for both students and for teachers. We know that the more access we give to teachers to things like behavioral supports in the classroom, the less likely a child is to be expelled. And we know this from things like random control trials of early childhood mental health consultation in our state of Connecticut, where we found that the more access we give to these teachers, the less likely they are to have reports of challenging behaviors and the less likely they are to expel a child from the program. We also know that part of the solution too is just saying no that we're no longer going to be expelling children from preschool programs. And in 2015, Connecticut became the first state in the nation to actually pass legislation that says we are no longer going to be expelling or suspending children from preschool programs all the way through grades two. And I can tell you right now, we have several other states that are working on similar legislation. And as I was sitting over there just a few minutes ago, I heard about another state. Somebody sent me an email uh, saying that they're working on a piece of legislation in another state not too far from here too. So professional development is a direction we think of as potentially addressing some of these issues around implicit bias and racial dehumanization um, where folks are unconsciously using stereotypes. We can teach teachers how to navigate these moments to see their biases, to question them. So self-reflection, pedagogy, and system level thinking are critical to att attempts to counterbalance this implicit bias. And as you think about ways to support anti-bias work and legislation, please make allowances for these concepts. The training for educators should revolve around um, self-reflection and all these forms that I talked about, but should come from funding streams. So all funding streams, there is, programs really cannot exist. So at the ground level, we cannot exist without the funding sources. Some of them are federal, some of them are state. Um, if we tie some of this into those funding streams, then you'll see immediate change on these levels.